Now for the second part, which is part B. So we are given x squared. So this is what we are solving now. We are given x squared y prime prime plus 2x y prime minus 6y equals 0. And then we're given a solution to be y1 equals x squared. So we want to find y2. So the same way we solved for the first part. So we we'll let our y2 to be equal to say u of x times times y1. And then our y1 is x squared, so that's going to be x squared. So since we are assuming that this y2 satisfies this differential equation here. So we're going to find y2 prime and y2 prime prime and then make a substitution and confirm it's equal to zero. So find y2 prime. So y2 prime is just going to be u prime x squared plus u times the derivative of a uh, u times the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. And then we find y2 double prime. So when we find derivative of all we have here, we're going to have u prime prime x squared plus 4u prime x plus 2u. So that's our derivative for y2 prime prime. So the next thing is we're going to make a substitution. So you can see this is this is our y2. So we're going to substitute here and the y2 prime prime make a substitution here and then the same thing here. So on substituting we have x squared into this is x squared into y2 prime prime which is u prime prime x squared plus 4u prime x plus 2u then plus 2x times times y prime these are y prime here that's u prime x squared plus 2ux and then minus 6 times y minus 6 times y our y is u x squared so u x squared so all this should be equal to zero so this based on this so on simplifying this so we obtain u prime prime x to the power 4 so we all know that this is just basic algebra so we shouldn't um, keep on uh, beating on that so it's just when we multiply all through and then we simplify we have u prime prime x to the power 4 plus plus 6 u prime x cubed equals 0. After you've made a substitution, you should always get an equation of this format. If you had not gotten something of this format, then it's most likely you've made a mistake along the line. So, we, we recognize that this is a second order d. So, we reduce it to a first order d by making a substitution. Let u prime equals w, then u prime prime would be w prime. So, whenever I see u prime prime, I'm going to put w prime. So, you're writing this so we have w prime x to the power 4 plus 6. So u prime is w, that's w x to the power 3 equals, um, equals 0. So this is what we have. So we're writing this. So it's the same thing as saying the w dx x to the power 4 plus 6w x to the power 3 equals 0. And then to rewrite this in standard form, so I divide both sides by x to the power 4. So doing that we have the w. So we have the w dx. So we're dividing both sides by x to the power 4. So we have 6 w. Then x cubed divided by x to the power 4 is going to be 6 all over x equals, equals 0. So this is what we have. So then from here we can identify that our integrating factor is going to be what we have here. So the integrating factor is going to be e to the power 6 all over x dx. And that will be e to the power 6, 6 ln x, so which is actually x to the power 6. So we multiply both sides by x to the power 6. And then when we do that, we're going to have x to the power 6, dw, dx plus x to the power 5, 6x to the power 5 times w equals 0. And then shortening that, what we'll have is the 
dx ddx of x to the power 6 w equals 0 and then when you integrate both sides we have x6 w equals c1 so since we want to find w we divide both sides by x to the power 6 so we have w equals c1 divided by x to the power 6 so this is w but then we recall that w represents u prime so in place of w i'm going to write u prime which is the u dx equals c1 x to the power 6 and then so this implies that du equals c1 all over x to the power 6 dx so we integrate both sides so integrating both sides we have u equals so c1 divided by x to the power 6 and we integrate both sides we have x c1 x to the power negative 5 divided by minus 5 plus c2 so this is what we have so and then since we need just for you we need a particular solution so i want to find a particular u so we're going to choose c1 you could choose any value for your c1 or your c2 anyone works but as far as it's not um it's not it's not a constant that that's the most important thing because you have to be linearly independent <clears throat> so if we choose c1 to be negative 5 and c2 to be zero so iu is going to be x to the power five and then since we know that since we know y equals ux squared as y2 so we now have y2 equals ux squared and iu is x to the power five times x squared so that gives us um so this is x power negative five sorry negative five negative 5 so that gives us x to the power minus 3 or you see 1 all over x cube so this is a second solution which when are joined with the y1 that we're given they form a linearly independent solutions of the differential equation